so what is the framework so we have discussed about i have said that there are javascript framework like angular react okay qjs okay so what is that framework okay so a framework is a structured set of tools and conventions that simplifies the simplifies and accelerates software development by providing a foundation for building applications okay so which means for example uh, if you consider this uh, javascript as a plain language as bricks okay so there will be bricks right to construct houses we use bricks right so if we consider a javascript as bricks frameworks are like pre made components okay for example there is a window component so which we should uh, which we there is no need to construct it from the scratch okay so there is already a window frame so we can ready to use it okay and there is a uh, there is a for example recently we are seeing that uh, installing houses right so instead of constructing from the scratch houses there are pre made uh, walls okay so we can directly transport them and we can directly set them as a uh, house okay so here the so bricks are uh normal programming languages core programming vanilla programming languages so frameworks are like so using these bricks they will made already uh, they will make some already pre made components so that we can we, we don't have to uh construct them from basic okay so directly so we can use the readily available components so that our work will be easy okay and and there is also structure for these applications okay so for, by developing from scratch we will follow our own structure okay there will be no particular structure or vision okay so but in frameworks there there will be some guidelines okay and there will be some structure to organize your programming files okay so this is this is the advantage of uh, using framework okay so your work your work will be structured and your workflow will be easier and faster because all the most of the components like dealing with databases dealing with login mechanism okay so how to upload images okay all these are already uh, all these have some pre made uh, components so that we can simply call them or import them and use okay so everything should uh, can everything uh, should not be developed from the scratch and not, okay so we can use readily available components okay so in javascript there are Uh, frameworks like angular js vue js uh, react react js okay in java in python for web development there are frameworks like django okay flask bottleneck okay fast api okay so these are all uh, currently using frameworks in python for web development okay similarly uh, each language has some advanced uh, frameworks okay for example php have laravel okay so like that uh, java has spring boot okay so like this so every language have a framework so that we everything uh, should not be cannot be uh, there is no necessity necessity to develop from the scratch okay so these are called as frameworks which have some structure and tools okay so next one is django framework so so our current course is about django framework right so django is a high level python web framework so that facilitates rapid and pragmatic development for robust web applications okay so just now we discussed it right so instead of developing everything from scratch so django has some predefined components okay so like dealing with how to connect with databases okay how to uh, deal with sql queries okay how to uh, generate auto generate Web websites. Okay, how to generate, how to auto generate web forms. Okay, login forms. How to generate. Okay, so like this, there are some automated tasks. Okay, so we don't have to do them from the scratch. Okay, so there are some predefined tools. So simply we have to import and we have to uh, use them. Okay, so this promotes rapid development, rapid web application development. Okay, so instead of the, uh, if we develop from the scratch, it will take some weeks, right? but if you are already using the predefined components your development will be in days okay so this is the advantage of using frameworks okay so on the back end so it includes object relational mapping system uh, routing system http handling framework okay for front end django supports template engines and provides tool for managing static files okay so there are some tools that you will know when you enter we enter the course 
okay how how fastly we can develop websites using django okay so these are the advantages of using django framework for developing web applications okay so this web, this django this django framework is a full stack framework so which means we can manage uh, both front end and back end using this django framework okay so before discussing about how to set up python any doubts from all the topics we discussed so far so you can speak up there is no there is no need to hesitate okay we can ask any doubt 